Do you know that about 40,000 children are born with sickle cell anemia every year in India? Friends, I am Dr. Silki Jain. I am senior consultant in pediatric hematology and VMT at Mag Shalimar Bag. So today we will talk about sickle cell anemia. So what is sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease? It is a most common inherited red blood cell disorder which results from a defect in the gene of hemoglobin. So this defect causes the shape of RBCs to change from the normal round shape to sickle shape. These misshapen RBCs are very rigid and uh, it's difficult for them to flow in the blood vessels with the result that they get stuck in the blood vessels and get destroyed there causing anemia. So there are three main kind of symptoms which result from sickle cell anemia or sickle cell disease. One is anemia which happens due to destruction of abnormally shaped red blood cells. Second is frequent episodes of pain which can happen any part of the body. Most commonly they affect hands and foot causing pain and swelling of fingers. But it can also uh, happen in the chest causing acute chest pain or acute pain in the abdomen. So why does it happen? It happens because of obstruction of small blood vessels with the misshapen red blood cells. The third is frequent fever which happens due to frequent infections in these patients. And the most frequent infections they happen either in the chest causing pneumonia or in the bones. So why does it happen? It happens due to slow destruction of an organ called spleen which stores immune cells of our body. So certain severe cases of sickle cell anemia can suffer from brain damage or stroke due to blockade of blood vessels in the brain. So friends, what are the treatment options for sickle cell disease? The only cure in sickle cell disease can be achieved by replacement of the defective stem cells. And this can be provided either by doing bone marrow transplant or by doing gene therapy. So gene therapy is unavailable in our country. So we provide the cure for sickle cell disease in our country by doing stem cell transplant, which is also called bone marrow transplant. Due to refinement in the techniques of bone marrow transplant and improvement in supportive care, the results of bone marrow transplant in sickle cell uh, disease have improved a lot, approaching cure rate of about 80 to 90 percent, irrespective of the availability of matched donor. Pending bone marrow transplant, the patients with sickle cell disease, when they suffer with pain, crisis or infections, they undergo supportive care in the form of uh, painkillers and IV or oral antibiotics. Also, in some cases, blood transfusion can be needed, which helps in reducing the severity and frequency of pain crisis, infections, chest infections, brain damage, and other complications. Also, these patients should always be given certain antibiotics called penicillin, and also they should be vaccinated in order to reduce the frequency and severity of infections. So if there are frequent or severe manifestations of the disease, please consult your hematologist for considering bone marrow transplant. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it useful. If you have any comments or questions, you can drop them in the comment section below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.